In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks with working with tables with VBA. Now, it sounds like um, a simple thing, but you're going to need this for the rest of the code that I'm showing you, and that's to figure out what the table name is. If you have um, a, a, a large number of tables in your worksheet, you might have assorted different na names and numbers on the table. So what you do is you click in the table that you have in your worksheet, and then you go to the table design that comes up on your on your menu bar just because you've got the table in there. You click on table design. And there you have the table name is table one. And that that doesn't sound like um, it's very big, but it's it's good for you to know so you know what to refer to when you're talking about the table. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look for is we're going to look for the last row in a table. Now, we all know some of the code that gets a last row in the sheet, but your last row in the table is quite different. If you have other data besides what the data you have on your table, your last row is going to give you the last row of data on your worksheet, period. So we're going to look for the last row. I have the code here, and it says find the last row column A, which is A is by one here. And so um, I called it last row one is long, and I have last row two, which I'm not doing. Um, and then I declared worksheet as WS is worksheet, and that's just because I'm too too lazy to type it all out. So worksheet, and then I've set worksheet equals sheet one, and that's the sheet one that I'm working on. And so the last row one is worksheet, which is WS, list objects, which is, and then you define your table. So here's your table name. If you don't have your table name, you're never going to find the last one. Range, columns, one, find, and it's looking for an empty cell. And it's searching um, searching by rows. Um, and search direction is Excel previous and dot row. So now, um, and then it's going to go message box, last row. So let's go up to the top here, and I'm going to F8 through this. And it says that my last row is 1,803. So now let me scroll down and see whether it's 1,803. And look at that. Last row is 18, 1,803. Okay, so now let's go back up to the top. And now we're going to find out, we're going to try to search for something. So it's we're searching by the account number. And so I've declared um, account number a string because sometimes your account number has A, B, C, and it adds into your number. I'm looking for the spot where the account number is, and I've declared I have looking for a specific search, search for a specific um, account number. Now I've set spot, so it's I'm looking for this spot, and it's sheet one, range, table, Table one, here we have the table number that we have to refer to. Account is the column, and I'm finding account number, which I have set to 160061. And look, in the, look, Excel values, match case false, search format false. If not, spot is nothing, which is like a deg double negative. So what it's saying is if you found it, then you're going to say message box value found in cell, and then you're going to give me the address of the spot. Okay, so let's run this one. And so we'll F8 through this as well. There you go. Value found in cell A1200. Okay, so if I go A1200, and I'm probably pretty slow at this, so let's go halfway down. So there it is. The, the 16 new rows to the table, what you're going to do is you're going to go, what's, once again, you're going to find the last row, and then what you're going to do is declare a new row to your table, and then what you're going to do is um, you're going to add the information into these rows. And so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to scroll down to my, the end of my table, which was 18-something, Okay, so 1,833, so you can see it happen. And one more time, I'm going to F8 through this. So I'm going to go 
Um, so F8, new row, set a new, it's on table one, entire row offset one. So there's it, it's added in the account number, it's en entered in rental, and now it's entered in bar. So that's how I've entered a new row. I hope these tricks will help you with working with tables with VBA. I will include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.